Hey guys and welcome back to the WooCommerce series. In this video we're gonna create a custom cart so that you can easily add products to your cart like this. So that you will get a message like this. You can view the cart from here or from here and this is where we're gonna build a custom cart page with completely free tools other than Elementor Pro. So besides Elementor Pro you don't need anything to do this. So in the last episode, we landed here. And by the way, if you're new to this series, you can watch the previous episodes of this series in the WooCommerce playlist, which you can find on livingwithpixels.com slash playlist. You can click over here to playlist and then click on WooCommerce to see all the videos. Um, if you're watching this, there are videos over here. So in the last episode, we ended here where we created this custom grid page, which automatically filters based on the category you click on. So let's first take a look on how our cart looks right now. So I'm gonna add a few products to the cart like this. And as you can see, there is this full width info bar, which I don't really like the design of, but it already works. It's a little bit boring. It doesn't look bad because Astra by itself is pretty cool. I'm using the theme Astra for the people that don't know. So Astra is pretty cool. If you like this design, then you can just go along with it. But what I wanna do in this video is use a plugin called Woolementor. And this plugin will allow you to customize the things in WooCommerce that you can't edit with Elementor Pro. Because for some reason, Elementor Pro doesn't allow us to edit the cart page and the checkout page, and this plugin does. But this plugin is not free. There is a free version though, which we're gonna use, but the paid version, if you click on pricing over here, it's just a little bit too expensive for my taste. I mean, if you want the uh, lifetime license, you're paying $600 for a plugin that only does a few things with WooCommerce. And I don't think that you can get better options for your money. Things like CrocoBlock, which I will talk about in future episodes, of this WooCommerce series because you will get a lot more for your money than this. So I don't wanna spend $600 on a plugin only when it's really worth it. But they have a free version as you can see. So let's just get started with that free version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install that plugin. Just search for it, there it is. Okay, so once it's activated, you will see something like this. And they have more options. For example, they also have a filter, which is not really customizable. I tested it. I didn't really like it. So I'm just gonna use this for the cart page. So what you wanna do once you're installed is go to pages and then just click on edit for your cart page. Because first you need to tell WooCommerce that you want to edit this page with Elementor. And just click this away and just click on edit with Elementor. And now we can edit this page. So this is now an Elementor page. So what I wanna do is just delete this whole normal Astra thing. I also wanna delete this title. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna make sure that I set this page on the Elementor full width. So that will only give me the header and the footer. So here you see, I am completely free to do whatever I want. Uh, so what I wanna do is create one column over here. Just make sure that this one is stretched and this one is unboxed. Just let's start by adding a little bit of padding on the top and the bottom and then drag in our elements. So if you scroll down, you can now see that we have nothing over here because for some reason we have to activate it. So if you go back to that plugin, you click on free and then you can check this one all and then click on save and then all the free widgets are activated. So then go back, just click on update for now and refresh. And now if you scroll down, you can see all these new things that you can use. So the ones that I'm gonna use in this video are of course the card widgets. So let's just drag in the card items first. And there you can see it. This is already a different design than Astra. And like I said before, Astra is not that bad, but the options for customization are just too limited and you will get a little bit more freedom over here. So let's see what you can do. For example, you can hide different things. So if you don't want to display the category, for example, you can just turn it off over here actually i want that because then it's nicely aligned you can even see that there's already a coupon code over here so that's already embedded inside of this widget but they do have a separate widget if you want to for a coupon code that you can also customize if you want another design than this but for now i'm just going to use this first one so this already looks pretty nice the bottom section by the way that is this part so what you want to do is go to the bottom section and then 
uncheck the proceed to checkout, that's this button. Because that button is also part of the widget that you also need, which is the total widget. So if you uncheck this, then it looks like this, pretty nice. Go back to your widgets and also drag in the card overview like this. And here you can also see that same button, but here is a nice total and that is an extra functionality on top of what you get over here. I think that is what a client wants to see. But as you can see, this is super wide. So what I wanna do is just duplicate this whole section and then in the second section, delete the first one. And then in the first section, delete the total. And then it looks like those two are connected. Then we need to change the padding again. But now we have the freedom to add padding on the inside of this. So for example, I can add 70% on the left or uh, 60 and that will make our page look like this. Also over here, never forget to uncheck the padding so it's perfectly aligned to the grid. And now we can try to customize it a little bit. Okay, so I've changed a few things, the fonts, for example, a little bit of the padding. And now the only thing that I want to do is edit this one and to make it in line with what we have already created. So let's go back to our shop. For example, this title, I also want to bring that title in. So I'm going to open the shop template again and I'm going to copy a style that I already have and bring it into our new page. So let's just drag that in. Just make sure that we have the right text. And then you can delete this title over here. Just slide this one and here you can see that it looks different. Okay, let's change up the button. Let's change up the style of this background. Uh, the border is set to none, but you can see that there is a border. So if you put this at solid and then put in a zero over here, then you can see that this looks a little bit better. You can also just make it completely white. So now it looks like this. Okay, I also wanna use that title on top of our main table. Okay, so I'm just playing around a little bit with the colors and the styles to make it fit like our design so it feels that we're still on the same website. So a few little details that I wanna show you. For example, in this button, we have the same font as in the titles. So to make it feel like one design, you should also do that in this button. So let's just do that right now. Always try to use the global fonts option whenever possible. Okay, so I've changed up a few things. Let's just test it. I'm gonna click on update. Uh, we're gonna go back to our website. Let's just keep this one open so we can actually see the difference. I'm gonna open our card again and let's put it next to each other. Uh, so yeah, that looks already a lot better. Uh, so as you can see, this is the previous one and not very customizable and a little bit boring. And now we have a design that is much more in line with our web shop. So that is pretty cool. And I wanna change one more thing to make it more luxurious and that is an image background. So you already know what I'm gonna do. This is not really hard to do. You just create a new column like this, give it a little bit of padding on the inside and you make sure to upload a background image. Insert it, make sure that it's center center and the size on cover. Maybe make it a little bit bigger like this. And then what I wanna do is drag in this card text and put it inside of here. And as you can see, I've made this little line a little bit shorter because it looks a little bit weird if it's so long. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's just update it now. Go back to our card and click on refresh. And as you can see, this looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we're almost done. The last thing that I see over here is these buttons, which I didn't see in the Elementor editor. I don't know why. So that's one of the things that I don't really like about this Woolamentor plugin, but I can't see a preview. So now I have to guess. That's not really nice. So what I did on this website is I just removed the background. So I just went to the style tab inside of this widget. All right. And then I went to quantity because this is the quantity tab. And then the background, I just clicked on it. And I just made sure that this one is on zero. So the opacity layer is on zero. And then just make sure that the icon color is a color that you can see. So maybe the text color. Let's click on update now and see if, if that works. Click on refresh and that looks a little bit better. There's still a border. So even this says it's on none. This is another one of those things that I don't really understand. So I'm gonna put this at solid and then at zero and let's see what happens. Click on update, refresh. And now you can see that this looks better. Does it still work? Does the price change? If I click on update card, yes, it will change. So that's perfect. Let's see how it looks on a tablet mode. 
Okay, that is not the most pretty. <laughs> but I think that it does the job. Don't always forget to add your paddings on mobile. Uh, a little bit on the left. What I always recommend is 20 on the left and on the right to make it fit nicely. Also make sure to check your mobile phone. Uh, this looks pretty good. But on this down column, you of course want to delete the padding because otherwise it's gonna be too small. So this looks pretty decent for a free plugin. I mean, let's be honest, we're working with free software, so we shouldn't really complain. Let's go back one more time to our card page. Let's check it. And that looks pretty custom. So I am happy with this. Now let's go to the checkout page because that's also a page that I want to edit. And unfortunately, there are not a lot of things that you can edit here. Um, if you want to edit this page with Elementor, you of course have to go into the edit page. Then make sure that this page is editable with Elementor. Then you can see that you have the same kind of setup. So then you can also put this on a full width. And then you have the same freedom as the card page. For example, a custom title like this. But there's nothing that we can change over here because Woolamentor, as you can see, does not offer anything in the free version. So the last few details for this web shop, we need to change that within the theme. For example, one of the things that I wanna do in the next episode is make sure that that error message is nice designed because right now on our website if we add anything to the card so for example three of these watches you can see this error message which is full screen which is not what I want and I also want to change the styling a little bit of this maybe at the same font style so I want to make it a little bit more custom but we need to go into the theme settings for that and that's also true for the checkout page so that's what I want to do in the next episode and we also need to set up the payment systems because right now everything is in pounds uh, maybe I want to set it up in dollars or in euros we need to integrate stripe so we can actually accept payments but i think that we achieved quite a lot in this episode again if you want to see all the episodes it's on this page on the living with pixels website again you can buy woolament or if you want to get more features but honestly I would wait for another plugin, CrocoBlock, that I do recommend on the links page, by the way. I don't recommend Woolamentor because I think it's just too expensive for what you get. But there is one a plugin that I recommend to customize a lot more, uh, like CrocoBlock, you can see over here. I'm already building another web shop, a much more complicated web shop with filters and, and a lot of fun stuff. So that is something that you can watch in future episodes. But for now, I just wanna work with Elementor Pro and free tools. And I think that we have achieved quite a lot already. So I hope that you liked this video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. And uh, then I hope to see you in the next video.